enter. They'll be bringing things. What validates open doors is activity. Positive activity. Things going in, things going out. Positive activity. That their things may be brought to you. Watch out. This week, things will be brought to you. And if you look at Isaiah chapter 45, it's repeating the same thing. Did not just open door, but open doors with activity. Thus share the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I've holding, to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings. You can see the activity. I will lose the loins of kings. I will make kings to be afraid. It will look like the trouser is almost falling. By reason of the urgency of what they should do. To open before thee the two leaf gates. And thy gates shall not be shut. Thy gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. I will break the pieces of uh, pieces. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. And cut in sunder the bars of iron. Someone say amen to that. And look at that. When the doors are open. I will give you the treasures of darkness. Somebody shout I receive it. The hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. You will not have empty open doors. In Revelation, Jesus crowned it. Chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. He has a key. He opens, no man can shut. He shut, no man can open. And in verse 8, he says, I know your works. You have little strength. You couldn't open the door by yourself. But there are two things that you did which are the anchor for continuous open door. Thou hast little strength. But you have kept my word. The number one anchor to open door is keeping the word. Obeying the word. Giving respect to the word. And the second one, you have not denied my name. Every keeper of the word keeps his doors open. He keeps his door open. Doors are never shut against keepers of the word. John 14, 21. This is very critical as we prepare ourselves for the anointing. 14.21 He that hath my commandment and keepeth them. He it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Myself and my father will manifest to him. Same thing almost repeated in verse 23. Keepers of the word will always keep their doors open. Keepers of the word will always keep their doors open. And what more did he say? He said, because you have not denied my name. You have identified with me. Matthew 10, 33. If you deny him, he will deny you. If you identify with him, he will identify with you. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. If you don't want the father to deny you of your open door, don't deny him before men. Be bold enough to let people know you are a child of God, that you are a Christian. There are people today when they travel and they are in some class in the air, maybe business class or some class, they give them wine and they drink. They just look this way, look that way. Nobody is saying you are blessed. You quickly drink it. <laughs> A number of times I've been offered such things. This is, no, I'm not taken. Why? I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. We don't take this. Many have denied the name of the Lord and so have been denied their open doors. They come to church. They still go somewhere else to take charms. In the name of respect for his parents, he, takes, he uses charms. There are many in the church who come to church on Sunday, Monday or Saturday before Sunday is in a club drinking to stupor. He cleans his mouth. When he's coming to church on Sunday, nobody knows that he has drank something. There are many who come from some places 
women who come from some places on Saturday, they sleep in some place on Saturday that is not their place and come to church on Sunday. Look very pious. They are denying the name of the Lord. Anything you do that makes people ask, are you a Christian? You're already denying the name of the Lord. It's time for us to stand for Jesus so that he can stand to open the door for you and I. This is the reason why many doors have been shut against us because we are denying the name of the Lord. I know you have little strength, but you have kept my word. You have not denied my name. A number of people perhaps here this morning, we need to repent. We need to repent of how we have denied the name of the Lord so that he can show us mercy and open the door. Because the anointing will work only for those who have kept their wine skin clean as we received in the word this morning. When Samson defied himself, the anointing left him. He didn't know when the spirit of God left him. He defied himself. He toyed with sin. He ended as a toy in the hand of the devil. None of us here will end as a toy. I said none of us will end here as a toy in the hand of the devil. The treasure of God became a game player. Somebody they couldn't move close to. They invited them to be playing game for them. In the hall. Because he toyed with sin, he became a toy in the hand of the devil. Very shortly we are going to be receiving anointing. And we will pray again asking for a cleansing of our wine skin so we can be fit for new wine. Cleansing of our wine skin so we can be fit for new wine. I know somebody here this morning will receive the new wine. You will receive the new wine. You will receive the new wine. In the precious name of Jesus. Shall we rise to our feet and get our bottles of oil ready? As we are doing that, I'd like you to first of all pray for a cleansing. A cleansing. Holy Spirit, cleanse me by your fire. Holy Spirit, cleanse me by your fire. Now, this is the kind of prayer many people don't take serious. You have to take it serious. Before you pray for endowment, pray for a cleansing. Cleanse me from every filthiness, Everything that may serve as entrance to the flow of fresh oil. Cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse my eyes. Cleanse my mind. Cleanse my thought. Cleanse my mouth. Cleanse my hand. Touch me with the coal of fire on my tongue this morning. Somebody pray. Pray right now. Let a fresh coal of fire be taken from the altar this morning. From this anointing. To cleanse my tongue. To make me fit for this fresh oil. 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 In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. And it shall come to pass in that day, according to Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, the burden upon the soldier shall be taken away. Everything that has constituted to be a burden on your soldier shall be taken away. Now let your amen show that you believe. And the yoke from off your neck. The yoke from off your neck. Some unwanted habits that has held down your neck. The scripture says today that it shall be taken off your neck. The burden of depth that has held down your neck. The word of God says today it shall be taken off from you. The fear of death that have ravaged your family. The scripture says by this anointing today, it shall be taken off your neck. The family crisis that have torn apart your home. By this anointing, it shall be taken away today. Whatever oppression you have suffered in your life. By this anointing, it shall be taken away. Will somebody articulate that prayer right now? Whatever has been a burden, you wake up. That's the first thing you think about. You are lying down. That's the thing that is holding you down. You are going out. That is the fear of what is holding you down. Begin to tear them into pieces. 
begin to declare by the anointing, I receive liberty from this body. I receive liberty from this yoke. By reason of the anointing, I receive my freedom. I receive my freedom. I receive my freedom. Somebody pray loud. Pray strong. Give expression to your desperation this morning or this afternoon as you pray. You are receiving it right now. You are receiving it right now. You are receiving it right now. You are receiving your freedom from the fear of death. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Lift up your right hand before we receive the touch of the oil. I decree that the forces that back up this commission goes to work in your favor right now. No door has ever been shut against this church and this ministry. And because you are a member of this family, no door shall be shut against you anymore. No door shall be shut against you anymore. In every nation we have been to, doors always fling open to us. From today, in your business, in your career, as a professional, no door shall be shut against you anymore. Everywhere we turn, things turn around for us in this commission. Therefore, I decree that everywhere you turn, locally and internationally, everything will be turning in your favor. In your family, everything will be turning in your favor. For your children and grandchildren, everything will be turning in your favor. For your spouses, everything will be turning in your favor. From today, no one will turn you down from your heart's desires. I decree also, by the same unction on this altar, that every threat of death over you or your family members be ended today. Those who are waiting to see your death will go before you. I say they will go before you. Those who shut one door against you will find you receiving seven other open doors. Those who say, let's see what it will become. Uh, they will still be alive. They will see you become seven times of what they think you will never become. If you believe, let your amen shake the devil out of place. Now bring up your bottle of oil. If you can raise it up. We declare that the content of this bottle in your hand becomes holy anointing oil. And as a priest, you are holding this anointing oil this morning. I declare that this becomes your point of sanctification. It also becomes your point of contact for empowerment. As this oil comes on you today, fresh oil, fresh empowerment, higher dimension of empowerment, resulting to new open doors in your life. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. By the reason of this oil, new doors will be opening to you. After Saul was anointed, doors were opening to him in quick succession. By this anointing, therefore, quick succession open door is your portion. A great door and effectual is open before you. By this anointing, every adversary that stands on the way to your open door shall be fully destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Now, take a portion of this on the tip of your finger because it's going on you right now as a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. Place it on your forehead and pray in the language of the Spirit beyond what you can say, beyond what you can explain in your own human language. Raise your voice right now. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Begin to declare what this will result to. 
the anointing always results into something. Declare what it should result into. Send it on an errand. Declare what you want this to be. Upon your head, upon your life, declare it. Declare it. And God is confirming 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 it. Lord along the league like to know Shaktana Dada. Randa Klang don't look sad. Somebody is receiving healing right now. Somebody is receiving liberty right now. Somebody's yoke is being broken. Somebody's addiction is being destroyed. That's you. That's you. That's you. That's you. That's you. You will have a testimony to share this week. That's you. That's you. That's you. Thank you, mighty Father. In the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Just as you have placed your hand on your head, by this anointing, you will experience a fresh crowning of glory this week. Your forehead begins to attract favor this week. In places where they have forgotten you, they'll be begging you to come. In places where they said they will not help you, they will call you to help you twice. Enjoy fresh open doors this week. And all the saints of God who believe say loud, Amen. As our scriptural tradition is, from Matthew chapter 3, verses 11 and 12, we will be taking a shot of the oil right now. And two things will happen. Every negative thing that is hidden in your body will be gathered. And then number two, fire will come down to consume them. So what you are taking right now is liquid fire. What are you taking right now? What are you taking right now? Every stranger that has defied medication will be gathered together and be burnt. Therefore, as we partake of this right now, it goes into action internally touching all your organs touching everything that medical eyes cannot see so shall it be take it as a toast for your health just a shot of it and the miracle is established already thank you jesus upon taking it start giving glory to god start giving glory to god start giving glory to god in the precious name of jesus let someone who will testify shout the biggest shout of amen. Before you close the bottle, as you go with this, everywhere you anoint, your home, your shop, your field, anywhere, including your farm, everywhere you anoint will answer with supernatural open doors. Strangers will disappear. Your miracle shall be established. In Jesus' glorious name. You can now close your bottles, raise your hand, give glory to God. He's worthy of our praise. No one like him. No one like him. No one like him. In Jesus' precious name. Announce to two, three people around you, you will soon hear my testimonies. Tell them very boldly, tell them very boldly. You will soon hear my testimony. You will soon hear my testimony. You will soon hear my testimony. I can see some people smiling from here to here because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Thank you, Lord. Good news. Next Sunday is the last in the series of our covenant day of open doors for the month of May. The 28th. You have been attending since the first one. Don't miss the last one. Don't miss the last one. The widest doors will be open to us next Sunday. Pick handbills as you are going through the doors, they'll give them to you. Make it a project this week. All of us, let's make it a project. The minimum one person is coming to church with you next Sunday. It's a grand finale of our open doors encounters. Don't miss it. God bless you mightily in Jesus' wonderful name. How many of us are glad to be here this morning or this afternoon? Amen. I can see you already clapping for the Lord, rejoicing in Him, rejoicing in Him. Give Him all the glory due to Him. Give him all the praise due to him. No one like him. 
Are you still rejoicing in the Lord, everybody? Why not lift your hand to heaven? Why not lift your hand to heaven this afternoon? Wave it to Jesus and give him glory. What an experience. What an encounter. Give him thanks for the experience you have had in his presence, for the encounter you had with his word, for the transformation that came to you by the anointing, for the impartation of grace that came upon your life and my life. Let's give God the glory. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him the adoration. Father, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise and you are worthy of all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed as you do so. If you came after the worship offering, there are officials around the altar, carrying late offering tags. They are also around the various exits. You can do well to drop your offering as you go and be blessed as you do. Remember to pick up your flyers that you require to advertise Jesus and be blessed as you do. Please, let's clear the way quickly for the sanctuary keepers to complete the assignment. God bless you.